also tonight concerns over safety after reports of a man who was caught with what appeared to be a machete in West Charlotte. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre joins us live now. Uh, and Jesse, you spoke to two women who s say they came face to face with this man. Yes, I have a well, one incident happened here at the BP gas station right off of Little Rock Road. And, you know, the woman tells me that she had an encounter with a man with holding what she described as a machete. Now, this gas station is next to a plaza with several businesses, a, a grocery store, a laundromat, a business that you see families in and out. And both women I spoke to say they just want people to be extra careful in this area. When he started walking toward me, he was mumbling something. I couldn't understand what he said, but I was real uneasy, especially when he pointed that metal at me and acted like he was shooting. He pointed a two-foot-long, red-painted, serrated-edged machete in my face um, and told me quite explicitly to hush my mouth or he'd hurt me. Two scary encounters in one area of West Charlotte, just days apart. In both cases, a man believed to be homeless holding what appeared to be a large knife or machete. One incident occurred at the Arby's off Little Rock Road. And a few days later, another, this time at the BP gas station across the street. It's just terrifying to think that I live in an area where anybody has a weapon that's that large and easily accessible just on their person at any time. Safety a big concern for people who live and work in the area as the homeless population grows. Panhandle all day and all night if they can. And, and then it's a disruption when the drugs enter the scene. And that's mainly biggest concern. Dennis McNeil believes some live in the wooded area behind the businesses and says it's a dangerous situation. At first, they should uh, get them some help, get them some help and then and then set up, a, you know, security after that. CMPD says if you do have an encounter like this, do not engage and call 911. If it is a nonviolent encounter with someone going through a mental health crisis, call police and ask for the community policing crisis response team. I just want safety concerns to be taken seriously in this area. There is a large homeless population and I want them to be housed, clothed, fed, things like that. And their needs to be met so that this these kind of incidents don't continue to happen. Now, Craig says she did call the police, but by the time they arrived, he was already gone. Again, both women just want folks to be on alert when in this area. Live in West Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.